Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. When we talk about this concept, the goal is to make sure that we're creating a career path that takes us where we want to go, not necessarily where everyone else in the world wants us to reside. What I'm amazed at as I'm watching a series of interviews over the last, gosh, since 2019, so I'm in many years of that, of an individual and their rise to fame is that she's kind of got a straight shot there, but there's a problem. As soon as that fame game is over with, what happens to people? What do they do? How do they produce a life worth living and a return worth having? And maybe they got enough money to live on for the rest of their life, but we're always supposed to be keeping producing. We're always supposed to continue to serve people, and we're always supposed to find that way to keep that income flowing because you never know what's going to happen some rainy day when you're going to need to do something, you want to help somebody, and you just don't know what to say. In America, we have the right to a career. But our rights in our career begin in the earliest of time, meaning the minute we get out of college. And if we take the wrong path, if we make the wrong move, and if we backtrack at some point because of the need for cash, we can harm our career. I know that when my late father was transitioning, I was wrapping up and closing up my business and moving myself out of a home that I shared with my late spouse and late son, and openly it wasn't an easy time for me. And at the same time, I had family members from a family of origin, if you will, bloodline people who are constantly pissing all over me about my life, about my situation. I thought, you know what? I've just lost my wife. I don't need you in my life insulting me. And that was my feeling. And I knew that I would get myself back on track in a short period of time. But at the same time, they ruined my ability to have a vehicle that was fully paid for. Literally fully paid for a business entitled, business title vehicle. So at no time should law enforcement have been able to accommodate it at any moment in time. But here's our problem. We have law enforcement at all these different levels, but the problem is they don't really know the law. They don't really know federal law, and our judges barely seem to care about federal law, even though they might be in a federal court. They don't care about international human rights law because they just don't care. Unfortunately, international human rights law trumps federal laws, and federal laws trump state laws, and state laws can trump a local ordinance unless that ordinance is used to protect people like me and people who are, well, in the city that have protections, like me, homelessness, diversity, whatever, it doesn't matter. The point is that we have to be careful with how we apply those laws, not at all, we have to make sure we have people who are correctly selected, like they do in the Secret Service, for our law enforcement at the lowest levels, because it's those guys who are the first responders and those guys who can fuck everything up for everyone's records, everyone's life, and everyone's, well, lifestyle. But we just can't have that. We can't have people who are opinionated running around trying to do their version of the law. It just doesn't work that way. Safety in America starts at home. Safety in America begins with the teaching of our children how to behave, how to excel, and how to succeed. You're not doing that if you're trying to raise little players in your life. You're not doing that if you're trying to run around like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like Aunt Jemima in your life. No offense, but we're way past those days. And I cannot fucking believe they changed the brand and the image of that because somebody got their nose in a, in a, in a, in a wad or whatever the heck. And I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that pisses me off. I really like that image. I really love that beauty of that image. And I'm pissed off as a white man that they wanted to change it to something else. But hey, their company, they can do what they want. But your company, you can do what you want. But you don't have the right to come to America, bring your whole fucking family across the seas and pretend that you're American citizens. That pisses me off. We've been here as, as and since America, since the fucking Mayflower. What about you? Do you even know your lineage back then? I don't think so. But here's the deal. My career is mine. My history is mine. My education through all that seasoning is mine. My mistakes are mine. My advancements are mine. My successes are mine. My self-teaching is mine. You can't pretend to be another person in America. And one thing that pisses me off more than anything else is seeing all these social media channels with some famous person's photograph on their, on their channel. That's identity theft. That's fraud. And it's a version of cybercrime that makes me ill. You see, we have lives. Each and every one of us has an individual life before God. And that uniqueness is what the Lord created within us. Our circumstances, our backgrounds, our education, everything develops us. But who our number one person is that improves us, that moves us, that helps us become all we can be is usually that person that we're partnered with. That loving trinity that we have between God, ourself, and another loving partner. And a lot of people might call it their gut instinct instead of the Holy Ghost or what it really is. But in the version of Trinity, what do we have in terms of the religious world is we have God the Father, we have Jesus Christ, and we have the Holy Ghost, all of which are promised in most of the good works around the world. So get with the program. If you're going to claim that you're an American, you better fucking know where we came from. 
We came here to be able to pray, to worship any way we want to. That's what the Bill of Rights is all about. First Amendment, baby. The Freedom of Religion Act. And the Freedom of Assembly means we can join with people and worship, fellowship, or meetup groups, or whatever the hell it is, networking groups, to do that. In America, we have rights. But for some reason, we've got a bunch of shitbags in the Sheriff's Department and a bunch of bastard police officers who just think we don't have rights. I'm sorry, I'm a big proponent of defund the police after they ripped out my ACL, took my fucking vehicle that they didn't have the right to do that, stole my intellectual property, didn't give me back my property bags from jail, and frankly, I could fucking kill one of those guys, but that's not my right, is it? I have the right to self-defense, but I only have the right to self-defense if I know who's coming at me. And the other morning, I had some kid come at me after I'd had a stroke. So I wasn't in the best martial arts black belt defending myself, but my brain was working the whole time. And part of me was sort of in the shock of I can't fucking believe in this stage and age of 2020 or 2021 that there's some black 20-year-old that thinks he's got the right to pound down a white man. Worse than that, that some fucking police officer didn't do her fucking job with the black man that was behind her to go haul that little asshole back off, off to, to, to jail for the fact that he stomped on the fucking back of my head. So if you want to know why I want to become a white supremacist, that might be a good reason. But here's the deal. I'm not one of those. I can become one of those by your fucking behavior in your community by your attitudes of entitlement, not paying any attention to your heritage or history in America. And that pisses me off. Because we came a long way, baby, in terms of slavery and, and disregard for, for colored people and other people of other nations. And here we've got in 2021 that we got to fucking have a president say, we have to have a hate crime bill now. No, we should have had that all along. Because it's entitlement. We have the rights in as American citizens underneath the Declaration of Human Rights not to be fucked over by anyone. 